Well, it's pretty much the same horsepower. Both, oh. of, both of them have a lot of power. So many competitions, people yeah. think it's just a competition airplane. Yeah. But it really isn't. It's a, this is the best. Hey guys, what's up? I'm at the Sun and Fun Show. It is absolutely beautiful. Saturday morning, I believe it's Saturday. Saturday, yeah. It's been an awesome week, but uh, here with Steve Henry. I'm standing in front of the, the new, the latest and greatest build, Yeehaw number eight. Eight. And uh, I'm excited to see more of this this year. And um, so let's hear a little bit more about, uh, or let's hear about, if you've not already uh, heard much about this build, um, what makes, what's a couple major differences from this version? The two biggest differences with eight versus what I had before, number six. Yeah. This is the XL fuselage, so it's two feet longer. Okay. That's a pretty big difference. Yeah. More, more authority back there on the tail. Uh, Better braking, you know, a little more weight in the back so it can brake okay. a little harder. Okay. And then this one has the three cylinder Yamaha Sidewinder engine, whereas the one before had the four cylinder Yamaha. Yeah, okay. And this three cylinder, even though it's less cylinders, you got more, uh, more ump, right? Well, it's pretty much the same horsepower. Both, oh. of, both of them have a lot of power. But this has this is a little torquier. It, it comes on easier. It, it it has like it doesn't have turbo lag. But the four cylinder had a little turbo lag. Okay. The three cylinder doesn't. Okay. So just a lot more responsive. It, it is. It's yeah. more responsive. Okay. And it's brand new. You can you buy the engine. It's yeah. brand spanking new out of the crate. You don't have to get a snowmobile and take it out of a snowmobile. You okay. just buy a brand new engine. All right. That's awesome. That's a huge plus. We just yeah, start and, from scratch. And it's factory turboed, whereas the four okay. cylinder had to be an aftermarket turbo. Okay. These are factory turboed, so you know it's got oil squirters and things okay. like that from so the start. So from the get go, it's designed to do what it's doing. Yeah. Okay. So, so the extra two feet on the fuselage, more authority. So you said braking to help with um, maybe not getting the tail up as high quicker. Yeah. Then Would yeah, that be? That can you can brake harder without the tail coming yeah. up. Yeah. So it gives you more margin for your. Yeah, and yeah. it's it, it feels more stable just flying it too. Okay. You, you can you can really tell the difference. It's yeah. you don't use the rudder as much. Okay. Nothing okay. wrong with the other one either. I mean, I had yeah. a bunch of them and love yeah. them. But yeah. I really well, didn't like yeah. them. This. Well, when you're staying, you're wanting to stay on top like you are. You got to keep improving, eh? That's how racing is, and you know, and, and a lot of that's a misconception that I've probably created. I don't know because I do so many competitions. People yeah. think it's just a competition airplane. Yeah. But it really isn't. It's a, this is the best everything you know every day go yeah. flying up in the mountains go camping yeah go cross country if you want 100 yeah. mile an hour cruise yeah it's respectable so it's, yeah it, for something that lands and takes us off so short yeah and be able to get around at 100 miles an yeah. hour yeah that's pretty good you're not in the 80s or whatever yeah it is and you can really load it up too i mean you can put a lot of stuff in there and, yeah yep. and then where you're at you're in the idaho area mm -hmm. so you got all the you know, as far as elevation is not a problem for you. No, especially with the turbo engine. Yeah. How long have you been working on this, actually? I'm just kind of curious. This particular this airplane? Been, yeah. This has, particular one? Yeah. Has it just been a over the course of several years of kind of the different things that you want to make improvements in? Or did you kind of like maybe a year ago decide, okay, this is what It was we more want. like that. Okay. Yeah. It, it, it was just in the last couple of years you know I, I what happens is I get new ideas it isn't so much I want to build a new plane but I get ideas of things I want to try uh -huh. and it's like I don't want to make a bunch of changes to an existing plane yeah so yeah I just build a new one yeah yeah well that's a good that's a good method <laughs> all right so this the Sun and Fun this is the it's the second place you you've taken the, this yeah. plane yeah. actual event wise yeah we yeah. did the Louisiana Swamp Skull Yep. Competition. Yeah. yeah, that was here recently, the last couple of weeks or so, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next would be Wayne, Nebraska. Or it, it's either going to be Wayne, Nebraska, in the end of May, or there's one in about three weeks, two or three weeks, and down by Yuma, Arizona. Okay. And we're undecided if we're going to make that one or not. Okay. For sure, we'll be in Wayne, and then Columbus, Ohio, and then they're just yep. all over Oshkosh yeah. and yeah. Sodbusters and. Yeah. Minnesota. Awesome. I'm hoping to make it to Columbus. Actually, I, uh, I'm actually from Ohio and I was born in Columbus, so I have family there. So. Oh man, you gotta go to it. Yeah, I, I, it's like kind of actually, I went to the air show when I was probably uh, four or five years old. I have a picture of me back in a military airplane and 
So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a cool place for for me to go. So. Yeah. Yep. So tell me a little bit about. We'll get some uh, close-up shots here, but uh, your carbon concept, the slats you have here on the on the leading edge. So. Yeah, that, I like the slats. It just lets me land just you know that much slower. Yeah. And that much more angle of attack and. Yeah. Is this the same setup you had for slat wise, or is it a little different? It, no, there? it really is. This this is the same wing and slats and everything I yeah. have on Yeehaw Six. Okay. And tell us a little bit about your suspension and tires. Some people might think, you know, what tires you got on there? Because obviously, you know, everybody likes the the big bush wheels, and uh, you got a pretty awesome setup here with the gear. So, is the gear different, or what do you have here? Well, it's made by shock monster tk1 yep the whole the whole suspension system the gear legs the shock struts the cabane it's all shock monster tk1 okay i've been working with them guys for years and they they, they do a good job for me my i have my gear swept forward just a little bit you don't highlanders it's already pretty far forward where you can break really hard but i kind of take it to the extreme yeah. there's some certain things on here that i do because i like the, all the competition stuff but i really think about everybody else and for just a good flying airplane mm -hmm. and try to dif differentiate those two and when yep. people you know when I help them get a kit set up for them really do they want to fly it and use it yeah and get it set for them okay some of the things on this like with the mark and Genio wheels and brakes I've never used them before okay they're from Italy okay and I told them I didn't want to use them unless they really really work good and I was gonna test them out and they really do work good okay I'm, I'm happy with them <laughs> okay um, Oratex <laughs> fabric. Yep, Oratex fabric. Yeah. Oratex fabric. Hy Hyper Sports helps me with my tuning and and that. Aero okay. LEDs. The, the lighting is Aero LEDs. Yep. Yep. So you got the Skytrax uh, gear. Yeah. Your box sale. Yep. GR okay. GRT Avionics. Yeah, these guys help us out there. EarthX batteries. I've used those for years. One more thing I would like to mention is the Sensenic yeah. prop. I, I don't have a Sensenic on here right now because. Yeah. They don't have a long one. This is 92 inches. Okay. And it's an NR prop. Yep. And works great, especially for short takeoff. Uh huh. I have an 82 inch three blade Sensenic that I they made for us. That it's really nice. That it's on here most of the time. Okay. They're yep. both good props. NR is great. And Sensenic yep. is good. A lot of yep. people like Sensenic because it's right here. You know. It's yeah, Plant City, American their local made. company. Yeah, I'm actually going there Monday to check out their facility. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good so, people. Really good. good people. All right. So my last question is, what can you tell us about what is Wild West Aircraft? That's myself and my wife and Josh and Sarah. We're yeah. we're from Idaho. We've been dealers for Just Aircraft, so we sell these the Highlander and Superstole kits. Yep. We've been doing it for. 12 years or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so. so if someone's looking for a Highlander and they want the best and Call they want us. somebody that knows, you know, ins and outs of the Highlander, yep. get a hold of Get, get a hold, hold of, of us. And you can go to wildwestaircraft.com? Wildwestaircraft.com. Yep, okay. I'll be the guy that answers the phone. Awesome, good deal. Well, I appreciate it, Steve. Thank you, Thanks Blair. Thanks for the info. And uh, if you have any questions, drop those below in the comments. And until next time, be safe, be blessed. We'll see you in the next one later. Awesome. Thanks.